بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دس ویڈیو لیکچر از دا کنٹینیویشن آف مائی پریویس فسٹ ویڈیو لیکچر آف ویک ففتھ فار دی کورس بایو اسٹیٹسٹکس ون ان دا پریویس فسٹ ویڈیو لیکچر وی ہیو ڈسکس اسکیونس ناؤ ان دس سیکنڈ ویڈیو لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ مومنٹس اینڈ کارٹاسس In statistics, it is used to indicate uh, peculiarities of a frequency distribution. Util uh, the utility of moments lies in the sense that they indicate that they indicate different aspects of a given distribution. Thus, by using moment, we can measure the central tendency of a series. dispersion or variability skewness and peakness peakedness of the curve the moments about the actual arithmetic mean are denoted by mu this symbol called mu the first four moments about the mean are uh, central moments are as follows in the coming uh, slides i will tell you about the first four moments formula but uh, first of all i would like to tell you about uh, mm, the explanations of moment actually in statistics moment is used to indicate peculiarities of the frequency distribution the utility of moments lies in the sense that they indicate different aspects of given distribution thus by using moments we can measure the certain tendency of the data dispersion or variability of the data skewness and peakedness of the curve so these are the advantages of the moments that by moments we can calculate other characteristics of the data like the central tendency dispersions uh, skewness and peakedness peakedness mean the cortices which we will discuss in the coming slides so the moment about uh, the actual arithmetic mean are denoted by mu and the first four moments about the mean are about the center are as follows you see over here these are the first four moments of the data mu1 mu1 mean 1 over 1 over n sigma xi minus x bar x bar actually the mean of the data and xi represent all the Uh, individual terms of the data like uh, x1 x2 x3 up to xn so first of all find the uh, arithmetic mean of the data and then subtract arithmetic frame arithmetic frame individually from the each term of the data and some all some this column and divide by the number of terms you will get the first moment mu1 and similarly for the second mu uh, for the second moment mu2 take the square of this column and sum up and divide by the number of number of terms first of all find the uh, arithmetic mean of the data and then create a column in the first column write the number of terms in, of the data and in the second column subtract mean from each uh, terms of the data and in the third column uh, take the square of each this term and sum the third column divided by the uh, number of terms you will get the second moment mu2 and similarly for the third moment mu3 take uh, create a fourth column and the fourth column take the cube of uh, each these terms and sum sum this column divided by the number of terms you will get the third moment similarly create uh, the fifth column in the data uh, fifth column in the data mean taking the fourth power 4 of each this term and then sum the fifth column sum the result of the fifth column divided by the number of terms you will get the fourth moment so in case of ungrouped data how we can calculate the mean about the center point this is very simple first of all write the data uh, in first in first column which called x and then find the arithmetic mean of the data 
uh, and in the second column subtract the arithmetic mean from each terms and sum that second column divide by the number of terms you will get the first moment and similarly uh, create the third the third column in the third column take the square of, of each these result and sum the result and divide by the number of terms sum the third column and divide by the number of terms now create the fourth column in the fourth column create this term uh, you know, uh, take the cube of each this term and sum the third column this is uh, in the first column you will uh, you will uh, write the number of uh, term you will write the terms of the data and in the second column subtract mean from each term and sum the second column divide by the number of terms now this is the third column divide the numbers and sum the third column divide by the number of um, terms you will get the moment three and this is the fourth number column fourth column mean fourth column mean uh, uh, take the power of taking power four of each this term and then sum all the you know, sum the column divide by the number of terms you will get the fourth moment me four and now for the frequency uh, distribution for the group data you see over here uh, first of all write the data in the case of uh, group data in the case of group data create the, the first column for the uh, terms of the data and in the second column subtract mean from each term and in the third column uh, multiply the fre each frequency to the each this term and then sum the column divide by the number of terms you will get the first for the first moment and similarly uh, take the square of each this term divide by uh, f divide by the frequency in the next column and sum this column divide by the number of term you will get the second moment similarly uh, take the power cube of each this term and and the uh, new column so multiply the frequency to each this uh, cube term and sum the column divide by the number of terms you will get the third moment and similarly take the power of uh, take power 4 of each this term then uh, multiplied each uh, this uh, power whole power 4 to the frequencies and then sum the column divide by the number of terms you will get the fourth moment now there are two two important constants calculated from mu2 mu3 and mu4 which are called beta1 and beta 2 this is beta 1 and this is beta 2 beta 1 beta 1 is defined as a uh, mu 3 square divided by mu 2 power cube beta 1 is used to measure of skewness and symmetrical distribution beta 1 shall be 0 however the coefficients the coefficient beta 1 is a measure of skewness has serious limitations beta 1 is a measure of skewness can uh, cannot tell us about the direction of skewness that is whether it is positive or negative this is for the simple reason that mu3 being the sum of the cubes of the deviations from the mean may be positive or negative but mu3 square is always positive also mu2 being the variation is always positive hence beta1 is always positive this drawback is removed if we calculate Kirpersen's lambda 1 pronounced as gamma 1. Gamma 1 is defined as the square root of beta 1 that is square root of beta 1 is called gamma 1 and the value of beta 1 is uh, uh, mu cube square divided by mu square mu 2 square whole under root. So this is equal to mu 3 divided by mu 2 power 3 by 2. The sign of skewness will be depend upon the value of the mu3. If mu3 is positive, we will have positive skewness. And if mu3 is negative, we will have negative skewness. Now, beta2. Beta2 measure cortices and is defined as beta2 is equal to mu4 divided by mu2 square. Now, what are the advantages of beta 1 and beta 2 you see over here in the cortices cortices is a concern with the degree of flatness or peakness in a curve cortices is another measure of the shape of frequency curve it is a greek word 
which means bulkiness bulkiness while skewness signifies the extent of asymmetry cortos is measure the degree of thickness of frequency distribution curved persons classified curve into three types of the basis of the shape of their peaks these are the mesocortic leptocortic and platycortic these three types of curve are shown in this figure you see over here this is the leptocortic and this is the mesocortic and this is the platycortic and this is the center point me now since i have already told you that there are three types of the cortices leptocortic mean a curve which is more peaked than the normal and mesocortic a normal curve is called mesocortic curve you see over here and this is the normal curve and this is the more peaked curve from the normal curve that's why this is called the leptocortic and this is the mesocortic and now platycortic a flat curve then normal this is the flat curve this is very flat from the then the normal curve so this is called the platycortic so cortices is the relative length of the tails in the degree of concentrations in the center consider three cortices uh, cortices proto uh, prototypes shapes these are the three types of cortices prototype shapes platy cortic flat tails and cortices will be less than zero this is the platy cortic and now mesocortic mesocortic mean normal peak cortices will be zero and the leptocortic a sharper peak cortices will be greater than zero so we can calculate the measure of cortices by using the beta 2 and i have already told you about the beta 2 beta 2 mean mu 4 divided by mu 2 square this is the fourth moment and this is the second moment mu 4 mean fourth moment about mean and mu 2 the second moment about the mean so we can calculate the measure of cortices by using the beta 2 or its derivative gamma 2 beta 2 measure uh, cortices and it defined as beta 2 mu 4 divided by mu 2 square and lambda 2 is equal to beta 2 minus 3 so in case of normal distribution that is a mesocortic curve the curve, the value of beta 2 will be equal to 3 so if beta 3 is equal to 3 then the cortic will be called mesocortic the cortices will be called mesocortic and if beta 2 turn turn out to be greater than 3 the curve is called leptocortic curve and is more peaked than the normal curve when beta 2 is less than 3 the curve is called a platycortic curve and it's less peaked than the normal curve the measure of cortices is very helpful in the selection of an approximate average for example for normal distribution mean is most appropriate for for a leptocortic distribution median is most appropriate and for the platycortic distribution the quartile range is most appropriate so interpretations uh, if beta 2 less than 3 then the curve is the leptocortic and if beta 2 equal to 3 the curve is a mesocortic and if beta 2 greater than 3 then the curve is a platycortic so dear students in this video lecture uh, we have discussed the three measure of the data which called the skewness moments and cortices now to discuss moments for example to calculate the first four moments about the mean for the following set of examination marks 45 32 73 46 39 36 41 48 and 36 so uh, dear students first of all uh, find the sum of all terms you see over here sigma x 45 plus 32 plus 37 plus 46 plus 39 plus 36 plus 41 plus 48 plus 36 is equal to 360 so sum of all terms uh, is equal to 360 now to find the mean of the data you see over here this is the mean formula sigma x divided by total terms uh, divided by number of terms 360 divided by 9 
which is equal to 40. Now to calculate the first four moments uh, you see over here uh, on next slides. Uh, first of all construct a table. In this table uh, in the first column put the entries of the data like you see over here 32, 36, 36, 37, 39, 41, 45, 46 and 48. The sum of all these terms is equal to uh, 360. Now subtract mean from each terms like you see over here x minus x bar. So uh, the mean you see over here the mean of the data is uh, 40. So 40 uh, subtract 40 from um, 32 we obtain minus uh, 8. Uh, 36 minus 40 minus 4, 36 minus 40 minus 4, 37 minus 40 minus 3 and so on. Subtract uh, the mean from all terms you get uh, this column. Now taking the square of each term of uh, this second column you see over here x minus x bar whole square. So minus 8 whole square 64 minus 4 square 16 minus 4 square 16 minus 3 square 9 and so on. So the sum of all term in this column will be equal to zero. And the sum of uh, sum of all term in this column, x minus x bar whole square, you see over here 232. Now uh, taking the cube, taking cube power of this column. So dear students, note that I want to highlight uh, uh, this. First of all, uh, construct uh, this table and then uh, take the square of this column uh, you get uh, uh, this uh, column and now take uh, cube power of this uh, column of each term of this column you will obtain this column like you see over here minus 8 uh, uh, minus 8 power uh, 3 minus uh, 5 12 and minus 4 whole power 3 minus 64 minus 4 power 3 minus 64 minus 3 power 3 is equal to minus 27 and so on. Now take 4 power 4 of this column you will obtain this uh, last column x minus x bar whole power 4 uh, mean minus 8 whole power 4 is equal to uh, 40 96 and similarly minus 4 whole power 4 is equal to 256 minus whole, four, whole power 4 256 and minus 3 power 4 uh, 81. So dear student uh, then add all these terms you will get uh, uh, 10 7 0 8. So for the first four moments first of all uh, find the mean of the data uh, if we want to find the first four moments uh, uh, from mean then first of all find the mean of the data and then subtract the mean from each term of the data you will obtain this for this column and now take the square of this column take the square of each term of this column you will obtain uh, this column and then take uh, power cube of each term of this column you will obtain this column and then take power 4 of each term of uh, this column you will obtain this column and sum of this column is uh, 360 similarly sum of this column sum of each term of this column is 0 and sum of each term of this uh, column is uh, 232 and sum of each term of this column is 186 and sum of each term of this column is uh, 10708 now to find the first four moment from mean you see over here uh, uh, we can denote the mean the moment uh, mu1 uh, is equal to m1 so we can present we can denote the first form moment uh, by m1 second moment by m2 third moment by m3 and fourth moment by m4 or uh, we can present uh, the mo first moment by mu1 mu2 mu3 and mu4 now the formula for the first moment uh, you see over here sigma of x minus x bar uh, divided by number of terms but uh, the sum of uh, each term of the this column you see over here the sum of each term in this column is 0 so 0 divided by 9 is equal to 0 so the first the first moment is 0 now the second moment uh, from mean is equal to sigma into x minus x bar 
whole square divided by n this expression mean that that sum of the uh, sum of each term of this column x minus x bar whole square so sum of this column sum of each term of this column is 232 and 232 divided by the number of term in the data you see here 232 divided by 9 so the second moment is a uh, uh, 25.78 now the third moment of data from mean uh, according to the formula sigma of x minus x bar whole cube divided by n is equal to 186 divided by 9 the sum of the sum of this column is a 186 and 186 divided by 9 is a 20.67 now the fourth moment uh, according to mean sigma x minus x bar whole power 4 divided by n and the sum of this column is uh, equal to 10708 divided by 9 11 89.78 so these are the first four moments of the data from the mean in these moments uh, are for the ungrouped data now if we calculate the first four moment about mean from the group data in the previous example you see over here these are the four first four moments about mean for the ungrouped data now this is the group data in the group data how we can find these four moments from the group data uh, from the group data first of all find the uh, mean of this uh, group data and then subtract mean from each uh, individual term it's mean that first of all find the mid of each class this will be the uh, x term for the first class similarly for the second class for the third class for the fourth and so on first of all find the mid of each class and then multiply the frequency to the mid of each class you will obtain a column of uh, f dot x and then sum of all terms some eight all terms of the fx column you can find uh, the mean of the group data and then uh, according to this example subtract mean from the uh, mean from each term of the data from each mid terms subtract mean from each mid term of the classes uh, you will obtain this column and then multiply the frequency with this column you will obtain like you see over here in the previous formula uh, you see over here in this formula that uh, we can find the first four moments by using uh, this formula first of all first of all find the mean for the group data and then subtract mean from each term from each mid term from each mid of the classes actually in the group data this x represent the mid point of the class the mid point of the first class the mid point of the second class x i mean for mid of first class mid of second class mid of third class and mid of the fourth class and so on so subtract the mean of the data from each mid point of the class and then multiplied each individual result with the frequency and then sum the column and then divide by the number of the data you will obtain the first four moment and similarly the second moment third moment and fourth moment from about mean for the given data so dear students uh, in this uh, video lecture you see over here uh, we discuss how to find uh, the moment the first four moments uh, of uh, the data what are the uh, first four moments and kurtosis for dear students uh, for the group and ungrouped data we can calculate the first four moments of the data about mean and about median in this example you see over here we calculate the first four moments uh, from of the data about mean so if the data is in ungrouped form or the data is in the group form first of all find the mean of the data and then subtract mean from each individual terms like you see over here in this example similarly for this example first of all find the midpoint of each class 
this represent the x column and then uh, multiply the frequency with the x uh, column you will obtain fx column and then sum the fx column you will obtain uh, the uh, fx column and then sum the uh, take sum of the column fx you then find the mean of the uh, data by using the formula and then subtract mean from the uh, each uh, x term of the group data you see over here like uh, uh, subtract mean from this uh, column you obtain this column and then multiply this column with the frequency actually in the group data first of all we will find the mean of the data then multiply uh, the mean then subtract mean from the uh, each met term of the each class and then uh, multiplied uh, this result with the frequency you will obtain uh, f into x minus x bar and then take the square of each term of the class you will obtain this column similarly take uh, taking power 3 you will obtain this column and taking power 4 you will obtain this column and then using the formula uh, of the first four moments you can calculate easily the first four moments from the group data and this is the home task for you now this is the end of this segment thank you allah hafiz